Brother Stellas came back. I got one more chocolate comparison. I uh, see y'all might have wasted your money. I still got all of y'all. Give my hand. Isn't that beautiful? In those pictures of that sun, sunshine, what a blessing. Now, they could have got on the travel channel, <laughs> saved a lot of money, but they had to go get it. They had to get up and go get it. And what a blessing. Amen. Amen. They looked like they was having fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm sure. Some dude from Jamaica trying to find his way to Omaha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mon, have you seen her? Mon. Tell me how huh? <laughs> Somebody check Mika's pocketbook. <laughs> Amen. But what a blessing it is to, to travel. And I don't know when we're going to see Pastor Linda. She might come back in June, July. <laughs> Daviana let us know. And when his mama celebrated her birthday, we're far yes, from Omaha. Woo, yes, she does. Far from Omaha. Amen. <coughs> it's beautiful to travel. Uh, we have uh, some people who, you know, this COVID thing hadn't went away. Um, but today's May 1st. Amen. Thank you, God. May 1st. I hear you, Star. May 1st. That means. Oh, y'all already know it's May 1st. Yeah. Do you still have what you had in April? You still got it? You're not homeless. You got your health, your strength, your mind, your equilibrium, your eyesight, your hearing. Your mobility, your vision, your goal. Okay, now that was good, but how about those, of, Lord, I thank you. There were times in April, it didn't look good. Under a lot of pressure. Might have shed a couple of tears. But I made it into May of 2022. One third of the year is gone. And you still here. One third. All right, that's good. But I want, I want somebody to thank him for what he did. Something special for you in April you didn't put it on Facebook and maybe it is but he did something for you and you don't know what the month of May holds for you but you know he's able I made it this far I ain't quit now with no eight months left to go That's how we begin a month, new month, new beginning. All right. Let me get a word for the few, the proud, and the Marines. Good to have Wade back. Yeah. Went protected somebody. Um, let's start with Isaiah. And then we, uh, 
A lot of things in our life, it's all of us. Isaiah 46, we have looked at it wrong. How many of you have had to adjust, is a word, the exegesis of the narrative? When you got older, you said, wait a minute, it wasn't like what I thought. Right. Oh, you better believe it. Huh? Yes, sir. How many of y'all realized later on after some birthday what you was crying about blessed you? All right now. Well, and you thank God for the mercy to look back on and say, that wasn't the end of me. That was the beginning of me. All right, all right. If that thing don't happen, I wouldn't be who I am today. That's right. Huh? Mm. But while you were going through, you're like, this is it. And how many, all of us have lied and said, I can't take no more. But look what you've taken since then. All right, right, come on down. Here we go. Here come one of my lambs. Huh? Have a seat, yeah. Come on, what do we got? Front seat. She was diving for a loose ball, tore her meniscus. But, so she learned on May 1st, it's all right. Some of us didn't even make the team, so we couldn't, (laughs) we didn't, we didn't dive from the stands. (laughs) Because we didn't make the team. All right. Now, with this torn meniscus, I'll take those. I might need them. No. <laughs> How you know? <laughs> I'm already preaching. God going to take some of y'all's crutch. Towels match, I feel that. <laughs> but now let me talk to my Tashi. Tashi is a special lamb, y'all. Amen. See, way before I could go to the gym, I used to pick up baby Tashi. Yeah. It's a nice little workout. The bones was heavy. <laughs> if I had kept it up, I look like you today, but I quit. Because the bones got too heavy. But but now you understand. You just, you know, you just die and pull loose the ball. So April 1st, see what I'm talking about? See, at, at, at every age, this word is not just for the adults, it's for everybody. Amen. So April 1st, and we said, thank God for what you still have, April 1st. Every Sunday, thank God for what you still have. Now you see. You didn't do nothing. You weren't in sin. Right. right. Uh-huh. But uh, last Sunday, you didn't need these. That's how it's about life. Last Sunday, you didn't need these. This Sunday, you do. Yes. M- remember, wasn't no sin. None. Right. She's an athlete. Diving for a loose ball, and now you need these. And I think the recovery is going to be six to six to eight months. Jesus. So that's the rest of the year. Right. right. So is God teaching her about basketball life? Life. Sorry, right, baby, you you have to know how special you are. You could have won't let the ball go wherever it's going. But you dove for it and got hurt. Yes. Huh? 
And so now, eight months, they say six to eight, but we're going we gonna, to we gonna speak healing. Yeah. That you'll never forget. For the rest of your life, every Sunday, you're going to thank God for what you had because you're going to be able to look and go, huh? Everybody extend their right hand to her. She dove for it. She went for it and got hurt. In six to eight months, and the pain and all that, but she learned something about life. Can't take nothing for granted. But I'm still going to go for it. If I get hurt in the process, but I'm going to go for it. Everybody extend your right hand. We're going to speak healing. This ain't about basketball. It's about life. She'll never forget. <laughs> Needing crutches. But how many of y'all know it ain't over? It ain't over. It ain't over. Huh? Now I'm going to ask God, watch this now, to heal my injury so I can walk with him. I'll never take walking for granted. I'll never take getting up. Something as simple as using the bathroom. The stuff that oh, ain't no big deal. It's a big deal. So what look like, these ain't fake crutches, these are real. What looks like, oh, that's a shame, could be the birthing of a great woman of God. I'll never take walking for granted. Huh? Mm -hmm. Speak healing. In Jesus' name. That it heal properly. That she uses as a testimony. I never take walking for granted. I never take running for granted. And I'm going to walk with God. Uh, if God, watch this now, has to flick me for eight months so I can spend the rest of my lifetime walking with him then he know what he doing in Jesus name come on let's speak healing in Jesus name amen All right, yeah. uh oh uh oh Match what I have on. Put those to the side. I'm gonna be a clash. Deuteronomy 46. Isaiah 46. I'm sorry, Isaiah 46. He got me off. I'm making sure Cameron can see me. Uh, <laughs> pick it up at verse 10. Isaiah 46 and 10. I, I can quote that. But I'll give you all a chance to read it. Declaring the de end. De declaring the what? The end. The end. From the beginning. From the beginning. That's a powerful scripture. Yes, it is. The end. Declaring quantum the end from the beginning. Read. And from ancient times. The things that are not yet done. That are not yet done. Saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Okay, I will do all my pleasure. Read again. Declaring the end from the beginning. So, 
God has already seen the end of this thing. Yes, sir. See, the person reading, I've said this before. People have said they don't uh, like to go to the movies with her. I, it might have been a lie. Look at she now she, she had to go get water now. Cause it go like this. She already said, "Ooh, ooh, watch this. Wait till you see what happened." Don't want to hear, man. You you go back home. All right. Cause she ain't seen. It. Some of y'all ain't saying it because that's the way you are too. Huh? He's already seen it. Write this down in your mind. You a movie guys already watched. And I would suggest, let me talk to Joseph, I would suggest that you not quit in the pit. Because you didn't put yourself in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I would suggest, since God declared the end from the beginning, you might as well, I don't care what happened last month, you might as well wait and see how this thing go in. All right, then. It has an ending. If you believe the word of God. Anybody glad they didn't quit? Amen. I'm talking to Joseph now, huh? Oh, only about a handful of y'all been down. Some of us have had our face in the floor. Huh? Ooh, yes, sir. <laughs> I remember all, even all my daughters who, all the Stellas that just got back from Jamaica. I remember at times in their life when they were down. Yeah. Come on down, lamb. <laughs> Come on down, lamb. Lamb City. <laughs> My wife always talking about how good you smell. Ain't <laughs> wrong being a good smelling lamb, all right. right. <laughs> I remember Wade. Let me talk to Wade for a minute, man. A, man everybody ain't got it like that. Uh. Uh, wait, I remember when all of them were down. I remember Tamika crying. Mm -hmm. She wasn't crying in Jamaica. Not those pictures. No. <laughs> I remember Shaquita down. Huh? I remember Coco down. Yeah. But if they had to quit when they were down, they would have never seen the sun shining in Jamaica. In order to make it to Jamaica, whatever was going on when I saw them down, they had to keep going. I want to talk to some folk who are going to keep going. Uh, because God has declared the end from what? From the beginning. You ain't got no business saying this is the end if God hadn't declared it. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, Tashi received some help coming down here. Sometimes you get injured, you don't get any help. Sometimes you got to make your way down without your crutches. Ooh, that's good. Good, good. Huh? Like that. You have to, she could have stayed home. Huh? I'm injured. Out. No, you got to come down limping. But one day we know she's going to stride right back in here. Huh? Uh, anybody remember limping? Anybody remember being injured? Anybody remember when, huh, when there was nobody to help you? And all you have left is a scar. Who's glad they got back up? Who's glad they allowed the word to heal them? Who's glad they put one foot in front of the other? Amen. And God spoke them into the sea. Why? He declared the end. From the beginning. God knew Lachelle was going to pass that test. He set it up that way. I 
don't care if she sell a million high. She'll never be arrogant because she remember, amen, being afflicted when it came to that exam. And the results. Something that God knows. So if he declared the end from the beginning, we're going to back something. We're going to juvenile back the thing up, not that thing. <laughs> Second Kings. I went over there. Some of y'all stayed home. But the fast, I had a man. Ooh, hard, hard. The fast was <laughs> to get ready for the, well, get, get Proverbs 13, 22. Some of y'all was eating. Didn't know about it was a fast. Well. You know, Proverbs 13, 22. Then we're we going we gonna to back up and see why it's important to know that God declared the end from the beginning. Yes, sir. Proverbs 13 and 22. That was the whole theme of the fast. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children. To CJ's children. Mm -hmm. That's right. To Zoe's children. Yes. To Vivian's children. To Rafi Jr. ain't even here. His children, a good man. <laughs> Read. And the wealth. The what? The wealth. Of who? Of the sinner. Of the sinner. Is laid up for the just. Laid up means it's still there yes. this morning. Yes. For the just. Yes, sir. Laid up, lay away. Mm -hmm. Okay. All you got to do is be right. You ain't got to be, be wrong to be blessed. Right. Just be right. It laid up for you. So we're fasting like, it look, I, I, got, I got a lot going on. It looked like, I said, man, this fast. I don't know if it's had the right effect. You ever get lost in a fast like, what, what's? Right. Is, is this thing he, uh, Effective is this? <laughs> or did I just not eat today? Because you're looking for something and look like it ain't happening the way you think it should happen. Oh, come on now. So you know, it just somebody called me when I ain't seen in a minute. I didn't know that was an answer right there. And I met with them, ain't seen them in years. And matter of fact, I broke the fast. They want to go to breakfast. Somebody going to call me on fast day. Yeah. And I'm like, no, nah, I'll see you at 3 o'clock. I didn't even know that was. But but sometimes your vision can be clouded because you're looking for God to move one way, and he ain't thinking about moving that Come way. On now. Come on. If you ain't careful, it's only for honest folks, some of y'all liars. Uh, if you ain't careful, you'll break the fast. Like, this ain't, it ain't even effective. I'm just not eating today. But it is effective. Yes, Lord. So we're going through the fire. Yeah, like, man, this, I know what I'm, I know what the, the theme is. So then I ask, I said, I'm going to finish it, but what was, did I really accomplish anything? I'm trying to move some things. All right. Huh. The first one to get the answer, my wife said she was, that had to be after three, right? At the uh, at fast, she was heading down, I guess center going somewhere, and literally saw an accident where the car was flipped up in the air. My God. Which think about it, the route she was going, that <laughs> all it would have taken was because I remember a lady that was going somewhere and a car flipped and landed on her and killed her nurse years ago. Yeah. So here she going, just mind her own business, fast over with, and literally saw the thing happen. And the car airborne and landed on his roof. Jesus. Huh? Wow. And she said, I almost, that could have been me, but just to see it happening. Huh? But thank God it, it was all God. You ain't leaving the house. This is going to happen in front of you, but it ain't going to happen to you. Oh, was that just for her? It going to happen in front of you. You going to see, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> then she 
called me like, I just seen an accident. I'm like, wow, man, that's, that's just a matter of what, minutes? Yeah. And you're right in the line, but you get to see it. Right. So going on through the day, I'm doing, I'm, I'm handling some business, some paperwork. And uh, the floors of my house, I have on socks, you know, and, and they slippery, but, and there's a stool right before See, I could have joined you today. Right before the computer, there's a stool. Now, my floor is a real slick, but, but the stool has something on the bottom felt. Remember, I got on socks. So I'm rushing on the computer, doing something. Same day. And I'm looking like, this fast, was it? Was it? But, but I'm hell in business. Right. I go to put one foot, you know, put your foot down and then slide on the stool. Yeah. Mm-mm. Put the foot down. I my guy on socks. So I'm already leaning forward. This time, the stool slides. Oh, my God. And I'm literally, so my wife works from home. There's another, there's a computer screen, and then there's her computer, her desk. So her desk is sitting down low. And then, you know, my, my countertops by themselves a kill you. Okay? Yeah. I put a foot down on the stool to sit down. The stool slides. I have on socks. Literally, I'm on the floor looking up in like a second. Jesus. My face hits. Thank God it just hits. A, it doesn't hit the, you know, the point of the desk. It grazes everything like God, like I'm, you're going to fall, but you're going to fall a certain way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So I'm looking, huh? I'm looking down. Uh, you ever fall so hard you ain't moving? Because you like, did I break something? I know my arm is hurt, and I cannot believe it. In a millisecond, I'm looking down. Just like that. You were going after a ball. I was just trying to sit on a stool and it slid on my fast day. Man. And I'm looking down and my arm is, I'm like, okay. And here comes, you know, Debbie comes from down upstairs and she comes down because she hears the noise of the stool. And I'm flat. And she gets down there. I'm not moving. She said, can't, but I'm not hurt. I can't believe what happened and how quick it happened. Right, right. Huh? Watch this, Tashi. This may just be for me and you. Uh, I, 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 I assess this. I'm going to get back up. Yeah. It was a hard fall, but I'm going to get back up. I'm going to get back up. This might be, I'm going to get back up. It was a hard fall. It was unexpected. I asked God, huh? So wait a minute. I had a mind fight about the fan, but anytime I come that close, I could have hit my head. I could have hit anything. Uh, but, mm. God got all kind of funny ways of answering you. Huh? It may not be a $20 bill. It'll be like what could have happened, but didn't happen. Amen. Something in you missing a meal. Amen. Calls the demon. But since God declared the end from the beginning, oh, you gonna fall, but you're gonna get back up. You asked me, was the was the fast affected? It was so affected that you had to end up on your back to praise me. Somebody shout hallelujah. Can you praise God flat on your And all your houses fall through burning, but you still praise God. Amen. Can you amen all your contract? Can you still praise God? I'm talking to somebody, amen, who had to be flat on that. Don't they say most accidents happen at home? Some, it's some kind of. The stool slid. And my momentum was already. So if I'd have had on some shoes, I, 
I would have come back to my own socks. And then I was just like that. That stuff like that happens a lot. Right. So they come and she said, you all right? I know I landed on the shoulder. I'm going to help somebody now, but I'm okay. Yes, Lord. Thank you, I'm stunned, Thank you, God, but I'm okay. But I'm okay. I'm okay. Huh? I want to thank God for the opportunity to lay back there and say, Lord, I thank you. I'm okay. Uh, huh? But I ain't staying down here. I got too much to live for to stay down here. Huh? I got too much going on to stay down here. I got to let this to see if I ain't bro- if I ain't broke nothing, I'm getting back. Come on now. If I ain't broke now, I'm getting back up now. I ain't going to spend the rest of my life down here. Who in here? You got, you fail. I fail at the, on the, on a Friday. Your whole month of April, you was on your back. But you got back up on May 1st. Amen. And so I'm still going to fail. I went right back to the computer and finished. See, what it was, what I was working on is about to change my destiny. And the, I said, what I was working on is about to change my destiny, my family's destiny, my children's children's destiny. And so the enemy said, can you at least let him fall? Yeah, but he's going to get back up. Everybody who got back up because what's in you is greater than what happened to you. What I was getting on the computer for. <laughs> now, now, now. So, ain't nothing broke. My arm is sore. If I can lift over my head, it can't be nothing broke. So, can you see God even in the trajectory? Because I got a countertop. I got the sharp end of her desk. And they're all within inches. But no. <laughs> What's that stuff my floors are made out of? Some kind of hard, bro. I mean, they heat up, but I ain't turned them on yet. They like, to, <laughs> yeah, oh my, yeah, my floors heat, heat up. Oh, downstairs. All right. You walk around barefoot if you want to. I ain't doing that, though. It's like, some kind of stone. <laughs> but God, but God. Uh-huh. even when I failed, I had to fall a certain way. Yeah. It could not be the end of me. Because God already declared the end from the beginning. And obviously that wasn't supposed to be the end of me. So what I look like staying down there, what I look like not going back to the computer, what I look like. Tra- that was for whoever that's for. Okay, but what a way to get your question answered. So let's back this up for a minute. Declaring the end from the beginning. Second Kings chapter seven. We gonna go backwards. Look at verse. Five. And they rose, talking about the four lepers. Right. And they rose up in the twilight to go unto the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come to the no, 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 I got to make this good. Start at verse eight. We're going to go backwards. And when these lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink and carried thence silver and gold. So and declaring rain. the end from the beginning, it was already declared mm-hmm. yes. in verse 8 yes. <laughs> that they were going to go into a tent, mm-hmm. yep. going to eat and drink, going to get some silver and gold. And raiment, what good is money? You ain't dressed right. Right. When he hit it and came again, because they like this, this thing changed. 
our destiny and enter into another tent. And get, so th- there was some other tents that were loaded too. Right. And carried this also and went and hid it. Okay. That was the end declared from the beginning. Verse 7. Wherefore, they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses. These are the rich people who heard something. Right. Everything is lining up backwards. <laughs> sure is. Their horses, their asses, even the camp as it was and fled for their life. Wait till I get to the end of this. Mm-hmm. Huh? The beginning, God declared the end from the beginning. From the beginning, yes. <laughs> the begin, the end of this is better than the beginning of this. Yes, it is. Verse 6, here what God came in. This is what God already saw when they first decided to get up. Come on, Bishop. Man, you got to get up. Huh? This is what God already saw. He saw it. <laughs> Verse 6. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another. In the beginning, the four lepers didn't know what God was going to do. Sure <laughs> and they were sick. They were afflicted. Huh? I'm out of scripture for you. It was good that you were afflicted so that you could be in position for what God was going to do. Huh? Yeah. But in the beginning, they didn't see what God was going to do. All they had to do, Brianna, was get up and decide they not going to die where they were at. And when somebody shout hallelujah, just keep going forward. God will reveal it to you yes, as you go. Yes, Lord. Uh, reveal it. Man, this is beautiful. Huh? How did Elijah get the Zarephath? If Kirib hadn't have dried up, he would have never went to Zarephath. Right. So you put up a Zarephath. Come on now. Don't back this thing up. Walk this thing backward. Amen. I'm only in Zarephath because Kirib dried up. Amen. Somebody thank God for the Kirib that dried up. I got a testimony in Kirib where the ravens used to come by and feed me. Amen. But God declared my ear from the beginning. When Kirib dried up, it does not end the prophecy of Elijah. Somebody said this ain't the end of me. Only God can declare my ear from the beginning. Somebody thank God for the baby daddy didn't want you no more. Somebody thank you don't see the love of your life. Somebody thank God for the abandonment. Somebody thank God when you got the divorce paper, your heart broke. Thank God, amen. You were broken hearted. You almost bled on the table, but you didn't see a Leandre there. Back that thing up. You didn't see, amen. Huh? You bled out and lost the baby, but you didn't see hollering in your head, in your lap. Back that thing up. You were sitting there broken hearted, Jody. He went on and marry somebody else, but I gotta get him out your life. And Aiden, you get a Aiden, but you got a Lala coming, amen. That if I don't break up, you'll leave her where she at. Somebody shout hallelujah, back it up. Back it up. You don't hear the Lord, what he was gonna do. You didn't know he was going to do this. Make him, boy, I got more and I'm done. <laughs> you didn't know the Lord was going to do this. Man. No. You just had to move. Right. That's all you had to do. Move. <laughs> Where well, I fell and didn't break nothing, somebody else, you slipped in a relationship and your heart got broke. Sometimes bones heal quicker than hearts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you kept going. Mm-hmm. Huh? You kept going. Tamika, you saw the Jamaican sun. Yes. Huh? And you got enough attention where it don't matter who walk out. Hey, Amen. I still see I got it. Hey, I got it. It don't matter. Huh? 
You might have sat there with your pants. I don't know how I'm going to get to Jamaica. God said, just keep going. I'm going to get you to Jamaica. Amen. Uh, uh, I'm going to put it upon a husband's heart to tell his wife. Man, sometime, amen, somebody bless that becomes your blessing. Somebody tell God, thank you. Back to home. Run that tape back. Huh? Run that tape back. Run it back. A 16-year-old, no, those weren't her kids. She just always been a mom. Going to come, amen, to the church. Be the first one to get filled with the Holy Ghost. Later on, everybody else will forget. But this leper didn't forget. No. This leper, amen, came back. It's nine other folk act like grace didn't do nothing for them. Act like Pastor Barlow got on their nerves. But somebody got healed, amen, and came run the tape back, amen, and said, I got to lay out the altar that I laid down on. I got to lay it all out. I got to fix the place that fixed me run it back and praise God it was good that you were afflicted you know when you get older you start running to take back and the place you looked at and said oh I wish if I'd have never got off that bus becomes a blessing if I hadn't got off the bus, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. Right. Got to run it back because God declared the end from the beginning. Run it back. Run it back. You got to get up in the morning. Put one foot in front of the other. Huh? The child you had was by a local superstar, huh? But it took that heartbreak because there was a Michael McBride coming. Amen. And you get filled before he gets filled. But because of what you've been through, amen. Oh, man, huh? I'm running the tape back. Huh? Because of what you've been through, amen. You can, amen, be a wife and yet be a mentor. You can be a wife and yet. You got to run that tape back. Run it back, run it back. These people don't know. What are we sitting here in May 1st and don't know what God going to do? Is he a God that keeps his promise? Oh, yeah, he can't lie. He can't lie. Uh, don't hurt God's feelings. That's right. He keeps his promise. God does not have the ability to lie. He kept a promise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Abraham was dead. Yes, yes. And God yet kept the promise to Isaac and to Jacob. Yes. Huh? Some people will break their promise while they're alive. God said, if, if somebody dies, I'll still keep the promise. Whatever I promise you, it's going to come to pass. Amen. He declared that end. Somebody tell her, this ain't the end of me. I know what it looked like in April. I know I'm behind on this. Amen. I was further behind than those leprous men. Amen. Who ran. Who are they looking? I'm going to run into something this month. And I'm so glad I didn't give up. Oh, no, don't play with me. I'm about to run into something. I'm just going to keep going. Keep being right. Keep I'm doing my affirmations. Amen. Keep on fasting. Even though it looks like it ain't nothing happening. God going to reveal himself. Shout hallelujah. No, God going to reveal himself. I didn't know the Lord was going to do this. Back up to verse 5. <laughs> and they rose up in the twilight to go into the camp of the Syrians. If they hadn't have got up. <laughs> Come on, this is good. I'm, I'm about to end. You got to get up twilight. You move when God moves. You move when God moves. God tell you go somewhere, place, plan, provision. God tell you I want you to do thus and so. 
See, we try to figure it out, and I can't whatever. No. Right. Hey, man, y'all might have went to Jamaica. Not because you're the You, your healing virtue. You don't know who was sick, who couldn't afford to come to the state. But when they saw three beautiful women laughing and playing, hey, amen, in the essence, what was on you, hey, amen, at that table, when you were singing karaoke, you don't know, hey, amen, who in the press. You don't know which one of those young men that were dancing got prostate product or cancer cell. But when you're healing got around when that Tamika who will drop everything to pray for somebody God said you know what it's going to look like a vacation but I'm going to do about four or five things I'm going to heal you and I'm going to heal whoever gets close to you I'm going to heal you if you don't go to Jamaica the people who couldn't afford to come to the state wouldn't have got healed somebody shout hallelujah I know it looked like a vacation but it was a healing journey I'm going to run my own tape back but don't come to this city I don't get to protect the lambs on the front row. Huh? If I don't come. Man, you got to run the tape back. Because if you don't run it back, you'll fall around and get bitter. Get stuck. Get stuck. Get bitter about your situation. Get bitter toward God. Come to church, but don't love God. Ain't love God in a long time. Right, right. Huh? Hallelujah. So they had to get up. Twilight. Mm-hmm. God wasn't bringing the tents to them. Okay. They had to get up not knowing. Man, everybody. Can. They had to get up not knowing what. They just decided that they weren't going to die where they're at. Come on. You, let's, let's keep it real simple. Just make a decision right now. You are not going to die in your financial situation right now. You are not going to die, amen, with your loneliness right now. You are not going to die as a renter. You are not going to die all the way broke. You are going to Rwanda. You may be behind right now, but you see yourself already getting your yellow fever shot and riding on a bike, motorbike with non elite. Make up your mind you're not dying the way you are right now. No, don't play with me. I said, make up your mind. As far as what's going on financially, I'm not dying like this. I'm not dying like this. What it look like you quitting now? I ain't never. I ain't never. Don't play ball again. I'll, I'll never die for so- the reason why you dove for you thought it was your ball. Amen. Lord, know you got enough beauty to go. Mm, that ball gone by this bit, and I ain't breaking my nail. I'm a little too cute for that. Let the toe up girls get on the floor. I ain't diving on no loose ball. You thought it was yours. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that. I'm going for mine. Uh, oh, so I got injured. Huh? Let a real estate. Y'all take a picture of your crutches. So a real estate deal come up, whether something come up in business, your husband like, honey, we can't do it. Huh? No, no, hold up, hold up. What, 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 what? Girl, that was a long time ago. When you, no, that wasn't a long time ago. That was right now. I got hurt diving for something that I thought was mine. That's before you come along. Don't don't attach yourself to this story. I was already getting on the floor going after mine before you came along. Amen. You blessed to have me. You blessed I took your last name. Because this house is no more than ever. I think that thing is mine. Amen. You know what? I I don't know what's going to happen, but I think it's mine and I'm going for it. God told me it was mine and I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Yeah, I I messed my meniscus up. But you see, I'm still walking with God. I walk with you down that aisle. Amen. But I never learned a le- I never forgot the lesson of going for what belongs to me. I wasn't gonna sit here on the court and die. I saw something I thought was mine. 
Why are you going to sit here? Huh? I'm praying. No, you got to get up. I'm praying. You got to do what? You got to move. Oh, bring it to me. He like, I can't do that. I'm looking for a miracle, right? But you got to have some human interaction too. Okay. So they, 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 they got up in twilight. We're going to back it up and I'm going. So what happened? They rolled them in the twilight to go unto the camp of the Syrians. Right. Why? That's where the wealth of the wicked were laid up. <laughs> we ain't got nothing to lose. Mm-mm. Okay. Then a man write a book, if your dream don't scare you, it's, it's too small. Mm-hmm. It's too small. Huh? See, that's why travel so important. Because if you don't move, you'll be in the same cesspool. <laughs> regurgitating stuff. Just never because of fear. I got to get up. Okay, we're going to back this story up. Mm-hmm. And we're going to get a conclusion and give some scripture. And off I go to breakfast. Read. So, so, they had to back, so we back to verse 5. Right. They had to get up in the twilight. Right. Verse 4, they had to make a decision. See, people don't know where you are, but you decide to pursue a doctor. It was a decision you made. Yes. How many of y'all made a decision? It didn't look like the opportune time, but it was time that God said move, and you did it, and there were times you think you was going to make it, but then there's a scripture that came to your mind. He declared the end from the beginning. So in God's mind, this thing was already done, but I had to make a decision to trust him. Dr. Holt, you, you already see yourself yes. in Rwanda yes. with a clinic. I can tell by your voice. Yes. You already see yourself. It don't matter what you got in the bank. Amen. God didn't just send 90 there for 90. He didn't send 90 there for her mama. He didn't just send 90. So you got to see your blessing in her. You just got to make a decision. Amen. Uh, if 90 don't make a decision to go there and start her Kristen Simpson. Amen. If Queenie make a decision, I got to go visit her and buy some land. Then I got to make a decision. I want the land across from Queenie. And then Dr. Holman, come on, somebody make a decision right now that you're not going to die where you are. Now, now, people who have quit will be jealous that you kept moving. Amen. Amen. I always want to go to Jamaica. It, Jamaica's still there. <laughs> I always wanted to go. Well, what did they do? Move it? Was, was Jamaica in a mobile home? Still there. People get amazed of your movement. They got to have every duck in order, so much in the... What gets me is like, you got money in the bank, why aren't you... Oh, so you want to know how I got it, even though you got the money to go get it, but you can't pull the trigger. Why are you bothered by something you don't want? No, you don't want me. You are amazed that I can do it. Mm. With less than what you have. If I had what you had, I wouldn't even be talking to you in the first place. <laughs> I would have been and had it. Okay? All right. Y'all understand that? All right. <laughs> so I guess when nine they come as a multi she already got me in that multi million investment. She's my she's my thank you. <laughs> broker right now. She keeps me abreast of all the law. She done laid out all those people. It's almost like 90 some people know they love the post and whatever, but how many going? That's right. You got to make a decision. That's right. That's right. Okay. She already there. And she's already, <laughs> she's my broker. Make sure everything is done correct. Let me know the laws. I mean, she's going to be my, look at, look at my, tr- she's going to be my power of attorney. She gonna sign like it's me, and I'm in the states, right, right. huh? Watch this now. So I'm motivated to go to go see my land. Right. I already bought it, ain't seen it. Right. 
I already know the freaky little house I'm going to put on it. Huh? Oh, it's freaky. Go ahead. It's freaky. <laughs> Queen, and get jealous. She sent me a picture of her little freaky house. We're going to be neighbors with freaky houses. <laughs> but notice, Dr. Ho don't get mad. He seen himself over there. He ain't even bought no property. Somebody shot her. Look, I just know I ain't dying in Omaha with nothing. Let me... It's your decision. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Look at the decision they made. I'm about done. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. Eight o'clock. Oh, yeah. Time, man. Mm -hmm. Read. If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city. Got famine. And we shall die there. And if we sit still here, we die also. Look, look, look at look, look at the options. Read now. Therefore, come and, and let us fall unto the host of the Syrians. We ain't got nothing to lose. That's right. Now, usually you can't find four sick people who agree on the same thing. See, it could have read Davion. One person said, "Let me." I'm going. Y'all stay here and die, whatever. I ain't got nothing to lose by getting up. But it said, let us. Okay. Look at Caleb and Joshua. They're the only ones like, there's bread for us. The other 10 leaders. Look what happened. Okay. So it's rare. You get four people. Now you're taught here. If you're the only one, we know, we know you're not the only one sick, <laughs> but you might be the only one that can make a move. All right. <laughs> so watch this now. There's 90 who goes to another continent, place, plan, provision, huh? The multi-millionaire who invested in her dream only made his money because Nandi was coming. Right. <laughs> Nandi, huh? So the person that called me on the fast day was Jerry Rose. Now it's all coming clear. He calls me on a fast day. Whoa. I'm in town. Amen. And Ronnie, I heard of what, whatever. And now I beat me at three o'clock. Now it's clear while I'm up here talking to you. Whoa. Uh, at one time. And then the next day, I run into my lawyer, Wintrow. At one time, they were all, amen. They all had more money. They ain't never been richer, but they all had more money. I was the poor one at the table. Amen. Now Jerry's old. He done lost stuff, but he couldn't lose it until I use his his wealth. Amen. Amen. That God used his wealth so I could bless Bishop Wagner. Amen. He, he could not get broke until he got us an excess drive. Amen. Which I had to, Lord, hey, it all back, I'm gonna back my own tape up. Amen. And God lets me, amen, see on your fast day. Here is the person, amen, that I, you all, oh, oh, I feel it now, Todd. He said, I laid up his wealth, amen, so that you could be in a position where you are. I'm going to send them all back by one after the other. You know what I was thinking? Because you know, man, I'm thinking, man, remember I told you I invested all this money and the company went bankrupt. I'm thinking, you know how, man, he, he got a check for me. No, he don't. <laughs> what I got coming is bigger than what he had. He just called. How you going to call? I ain't talked to him in months. How you going to call me on the fast day? And I'm thinking it's not effective. God, oh, yes, it is. I'm going to show you how I turned that thing around, huh? Yeah. Who used to be the tail is now the head. I used a wealth. So you could, if he was bankrupt, I can't get the car for Bishop Wagner. 
If he's bankrupt, he doesn't finance Essex Drive-In Regency. Huh? I had to run my own tape back. Yes, sir. Next day, here come the attack. And you know what? They both Jew, but they don't get along. Who cares? They were all in position to, because God declared my end from the beginning. While I was sitting there and they were taking the task, God said, you just keep living, amen. I'm going to use what they had to get you where I want you to go. Oh, come on. I'm not talking about myself. It's somebody else in here. God laid they stuff up for you. Remember, I'm in the house I'm in now because the wife heard. I'm here in traffic. <laughs> so he buys her the Ralston Library to live in. <laughs> Literally. Hey, man, where your library at? I sold it to my man. <laughs> it all lining up. Huh? See, I'm going to talk to somebody before I go to. See, don't stop. Because of one big blessing. There's a bigger one coming. I'm going to say it again. Don't stop. Even though the one blessing is substantial. God will not forget your labor love. There's a bigger one coming. Amen. So you got to have the same faith and move. Don't go, well, this is it. No, it ain't it. Uh Hmm. I think only four people got that. <laughs> you don't want to be blessed and get scared no, for the bigger blessing. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bigger one. Uh, God, I, <laughs> he got all kind of ways. You could be standing next to where you're going. <laughs> uh-huh. I found an old picture. Skylar, y'all was in the hood. I could tell by the backdrop. <laughs> and there you were. And there was Tim. And your mama in the background looked like I'm glad y'all didn't get hit by no drive-by shooting. <laughs> and there was, Ta- you was holding Tashi. You wait till you see it. You got to take you back down memory lane. And I had to be hard times. But now that Skylar, Lord have mercy. Wow. Now the one she holding is about the, man, just keep on moving. Yeah. Keep on, if you quit in that picture. <laughs> huh? Pictures remind you, should make you happy. I'm glad because the picture looked like it was a struggle. Who in here glad they didn't quit while they were, but you got up even though your finances were sick. Anybody ever have leprous finances? Anybody ever have a leprous checking account? Save his account. Anybody ever have a leprous job? Dre, I remember Candace coming down for a wedding. She, you know, she always gonna dress up. I was like, you, you, something wrong with you? It's, what's wrong with you? You all dress up. I know you can dress, but it's something you ain't. It's something. And it, boy, here we go. All dressed up. Anybody want to thank God? Amen. That you didn't look like what you was going through. You still try to make an effort. Even though you got teardrops on stuff. That... You ought to be able to look at old pictures and go, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Huh? There's a picture on Essex Drive of Cammy and James and Raphael 
in the driveway, which was a blessing, which Mr. Rosen financed like a bank, huh? But we didn't stop there. But it was a, there was no Elo, there was no Alex, there was no Shay. It was three Barlow boys, amen, who didn't know that I was crying. People were lying on me, amen. But we sitting there in the regency as though somehow, oh, Lord, have mercy. Lord, I thank you, amen. But I'm glad it stopped there. Mm. Who else determined before I go to breakfast? Amen. I got a decision I'm going to make right now. Yes, I'm blessed. I'm doing better. Amen. But this ain't the end of me. God did not declare this end. To my beginning. They made a decision. If they save us alive, we shall live. If they kill us, we shall but die. I'm about dying. Verse 3. And there were four leprous men at the entering in of the gate. And they said one to another, Why sit we here until we die? <laughs> it's going to mess with you. You would have never had that conversation. If you had been well. Only Ty got that. You would have never been with that group. If everything had been going right. You're only in that group. Because something is wrong with you. you only in that group. Because you're on the outside of that family. Uh, you leprous to them. You never fit in. you like, why didn't I fit? You ain't fitting in because where are you going, huh? The blessing I have is for leprous folk. If you well, if you the favorite, if you can't get, amen, this thing. You got to get around some other folk who went through foster care, who or who father left them, who wasn't a favorite, who mama they couldn't stand them because of the daddy they had. Somebody thank God. Hey, you had to get around some other people. Your passion comes from what happened to you. That's why you have a sensitivity, amen, to certain groups of people. It's because of what happened to you, amen. God has used your leprosy. God has used your childhood. God is using all that stuff. He declared the end from the beginning, amen. Lord, at the beginning, it didn't look good. In the beginning, you were sick, and you talking to other sick people. And that's one thing y'all all have in common. Y'all all messed up. But well, all make a decision. Find somebody else in the church that wasn't a favorite. Find somebody else in the church who hugged and divorced them. Find somebody else who got cheated on. Amen. And make a decision. I'm going to press my way. God going to use my sickness. There's a tent, amen, attached to my sickness. There's silver attached to my sickness. There's gold attached to my sickness. <laughs> if I ain't sick, I ain't in this conversation. This blessing is for sick people who've been outside the camp. This blessing is for folk that nobody want to be bothered with. You were too sick. You didn't have enough money. You didn't go to the right school. You didn't have the pedigree. You didn't have this and that. You are not for sick. I want all my sick folk, amen, to give God some praise. I'm blessed because I was leprous. My blessing come from leprosy. If I ain't leprous, I don't get up. You got Psalm 119. God took your sickness, the fact you an outsider. Hmm? <laughs> I meet Darnetta screaming on the phone. <laughs> she 
She wasn't no lawyer when she was on that phone. She was hurt. She was tired of going to look for her mother. <laughs> but God said, I'm going to take this mother. If her mother, her mother who had addiction <laughs> ends up caught, if her mother ain't addicted, she don't call me. <laughs> if her mother is a school teacher, she don't call me. Her mother calls me because she said, I'm too sick to help my daughter, but I heard you in the street. That's the only reason why I meet Darnetta, amen. But God said, that girl on the phone is a lawyer, amen. She's going to have to go and represent another daughter that was a dancer, and they all look all messed up today. They all went to school together, but the girl hollering is also going to meet a dancer who only danced because somebody said something to her. She had low self esteem she altered her body I'm going to hook it all but that but if her mama ain't sick she ain't calling you see what happened when you run the tape back huh see what happened you can sit there, wait, protecting others, but nobody protected you. <laughs> Who protected me? My feelings, my heart. I'm around watching, but who looked out for me? <laughs> Found out that the person looked out for it was already in the city, but it wasn't time yet. They were talking about the one God was going to use to look out for you. Huh? He going to guard your heart like you guard folk, eh? Oh, Lord, have mercy. But he ain't in position if they don't reject him. Oh, man, come on now. He ain't even in a position to look after your heart. I could be trying to be a suffocating bishop or something now. But, hey, man, they rejected me. Somebody, I'm glad they rejected me. I'm glad they said I didn't have no ministry. I'm glad I, I live better than all of them combined. Look at the people that were here who thought they made me. <laughs> they did. Yeah, they did. All of them. You didn't know them, Brianna. Not around me. Raphael told me. He said, Daddy, they, they think they better than that. Why? They don't treat. How can they? They can't treat you that way. They thought when we leave, not only is he going to die, that church going to die. Don't look dead to me. It's some folks. Amen. Tramon building, Kenny and Trey building, Quantum and already built, Pastor Leonard and built. Amen, huh? I got a 1.8, about to get a doctorate. Lachelle, amen. Got air license. Brian Bell got his license. Amen. Jan Yale, they can't stop her. She keep digging another well. They keep trying to plug it up. Amen. Genesis 26. Keith and Lisa, amen, millionaires and king. Daryl Carlisle still got his family. Teacher started a business. Vicky got stuck, amen. Chad still here. Byron, amen, didn't die of cancer. Here come a Brandon and Mary Brashana. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen, star still here with Emma Johnson James. Amen, come on, Romy came back to church. Rhea Bulls here. Becomes a Crystal Simpson Award winner. Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you pay tithes on your two band? Look at little Lala, like, huh? It's still in a. You ain't cast it yet? Oh, 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 you trying to cross. 
Nia, Nia, got to be careful. She named you Nia Michelle Wilson. <laughs> Go check that check out today, baby. <laughs> that, that, that's two bands, Nia Michelle Wilson. Watch this now. Cameron William Barlow. <laughs> Raphael William Barlow. If they ever get paid, I'm going to cross that out. Ain't nothing but a pencil. That's a slick move. Now, now, I got grown folk like, I'll cash it for you. But how about that? Run the tape back. <laughs> this is some good stuff, people. Psalm 119. If you ain't leprous, you ain't rich in this story. <laughs> if everything going right in your life, this ain't your story. You, you, you could have stayed home today. <laughs> this is just a bunch of sick folk deciding they ain't dying where they at. Oh, man, is that good? Well, uh, we just a bunch of people at one time. Who in here has some form of leprosy? Your money, your mind, your finances, your childhood. Something set you up to be blessed today. Huh? So, they, so if Darnetta Mama is a school teacher like Ruth Ellis, I'll never meet Darnetta. We know she flat, just brilliant, man. Yeah. Yes. That, that spoken word, bro. Yes. I'm looking on the podium. Yes. Yes. Watch this now. Even that gift, which had nothing to do with law, even that gift came out of her pain. Yep. Sure did. Yeah. 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 Anytime you can remember stuff that just flow out of your spirit, amen, it was some leprosy that was down there that let her believe everything she spoke and brought it back to her. Remember, somebody shout, holler, there's some things you don't need no notes to be able. You don't need no notes to talk about that mad man. That you were fighting with, didn't know there was a keep meal that was going to love you with a child. You don't need no notes. Who in here got some stuff? You don't need no notes. Amen. When that oven blew up and took your back, you don't need no notes. How it was to love somebody who didn't love you. Amen, man. Just tell her, run that tape back. Run that tape back. Amen. I get a new son. Here comes somebody that, amen, no one else in the world made a decision that quick to marry there. And here's somebody, man, run the tape back. Y'all ought to have tape run back day. Amen. I remember before, now they tripping. I remember I didn't even have a job. <laughs> they tripping. Man, never forget how leprous you were. Amen. 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 <laughs> never, and, and, I found out while I was the brokest one, I mean, this would be like the mafia. They were all wealthy and driving Benzes and stuff. And Wintro would pick up the whole bill. He picked up the bill like a week ago. Then I ran to him Saturday. Huh? <laughs> he picked up. And, man, I'm sitting there, man. Everybody to say was a millionaire at that time but me. Right. Everybody at the table. <laughs> Didn't know later on. They were only wealthy so I could sit at the table I was coming to. Ah. I'm the only one there, huh? Ah. They got money. They got money. Oh, that's the boss. That's the boss. And there I was sitting with rich men, and I had what the apostolic thought was a leprous ministry. So God didn't have me sit with them. They would have tried to destroy me. They tried to destroy me when I wasn't sitting with them. So God said, you know what? I'm going to have you sit with some people. Where are you going? And the people. Eh, mm. <laughs> so 
Psalm 119, that's deep, ain't it? <laughs> Which verse? 71. Okay. Folk made fun of you for your leprosy. Yeah, she got two kids. I went, but when they see that mobile van going by, taking blood. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> watch, watch this now. <laughs> you know who's driving it? Not you. The people, Caleb and Chris Hyde. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Chris has to come by the airport to pick you up. From Jamaica, because you, you going to, you, Coco, Tamika, and Shaquita done bought some property there, and you just getting back. So he picks you up in your red G-Wagon. Why I got to be red? Since I'm taking blood, I might as well ride in a blood red Rio wagon. Because you ever don't, you don't know who it is. Hey, man, my G-Wagon match what I... And everybody who laughing, aren't you glad when you were leopards you wanted to fight? And the girl, hey man, wanted to come and fight you. Because she had a baby by the same man. And you didn't fight him. You stayed on the front row and served. And served and served. And you got around your brothers and your dad to show you how to be a wife. Amen. Run the tape back. All your sisters left. Everybody left, but you stay. Amen. So they get a chance to watch what you, they was all lepers, but you the one, you the one that stayed and let the word heal you. Verse 71, what does that say? It is good. It is what? It is good for me. Deborah, I, it was good that the other apostolic didn't like me. I can have on a cheap robe <laughs> instead of these limited edition Doc Martens <laughs> celebrating China. Go ahead. Red bottoms, perhaps. Mm -hmm. And said, so you can't wear your robe at looking like a popsicle. <laughs> a popsicle. Huh? I could be Reverend Barlow <laughs> in a continental. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. <laughs> With an 18, but every time I move, you got to recount. <laughs> 18. <laughs> and then there's that pose where the wife. After you about choked her out because y'all under pressure, she leaning over the shoulder trying to hide the bruise. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. They ain't got no motorcycles. They, they ain't got three fine women that can go to Jamaica. That's right. That's right. They don't. <laughs> Taking charge. They got to wait for a council. glad they rejected me I don't know what to do <laughs> amen I tell you I'm glad they rejected me Steph and show happy in London he ain't even in the states and he happy I got rejected right right <laughs> he's so happy he don't know what to do <laughs> huh <laughs> Brian Bell glad I got rejected He could have been in here trying to play an air guitar, too. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> All of us are great musicians when we ain't got nothing plugged in. Okay. <laughs> but no, I'm so leprous, folk got away from me. <laughs> Why? I had a tent of silver and gold <laughs> and some stuff. I just had to make a decision. I wasn't going to die. I wasn't going to die even though they rejected me. 
I wasn't going to die even though I was outside their camp, with their subculture, which don't mean nothing. Okay. <laughs> Brandon, you're like, what are you talking about? Brandon, is the subculture like, all of a sudden, you're going to be the prime minister of this role. Now, first of all, Star ain't going to follow you. <laughs> You don't know Star. Star ain't follow you. And if Star don't follow you, you can forget about Emma. And Jane, so, so you just, all of a sudden, you know, I'm the prime minister of this role. And you know what? I don't even know if you're going to have her follow you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Your son, all right, until he learn better. Right. Huh? So you want to tell me I'm prime minister Sylvie. Somebody said, what? My son. <laughs> it means nothing. Don't nobody know who you are? <laughs> I'm glad I got rejected. Amen. Drop down to verse 75. Amen. Huh? I know, O Lord, that thou judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness has afflicted me. In what? And faithfulness has afflicted me. Yeah, Joseph. A man, that's what your Bible said. A man pointed him. That was an angel. The pit is that way. Wow. Never thought of it that way. Watch this now. You're going down, but when you come up, you got to go down. You got to be sold. You got to be falsely accused. <laughs> you got to be lied on. I can't make you ugly because you're ugly. Then Potiphar don't want, don't pick you. You just another ugly slave up there. Ain't nobody whoa. <laughs> you got to be cute. You got to be good looking. So Zuleika will lie on you if you're ugly. That's just a good slave. There you are with another bale of cotton on your back. All right. <laughs> Sheila, <laughs> ain't nobody want you, huh? But no, you got to be good looking enough for her to lie on you. And then you got to go to that penitentiary. You got to go to the Cumsy. You can't go to LCC. I got to have you in a the, the right penitentiary because I got two other folk who messed up. They're going to be your sellies. I did all this in faithfulness. Oh, man, run that tape back. And then, even though you was in the pit, you still see, you, you exposed your gift too early. You had a dream. But they took your coat, they put you in the pit, they lied on you, but your gift was still intact. You still was gifted in the pen. You was gifted in the pit, you were still gifted in the penitentiary. So you took your, you took your gift to the very place... <laughs> That was going to get you up out of there. I picked everything. I picked your cellmates. I picked everything. If those folk aren't your cellies, they won't remember you. And when you try to get out too soon, you tried to declare your own end from the beginning. And you had to stay. Huh? But all this time, even though you bloody, you stripped, you in the pit, you lied on, your gift. There's a party you can't nobody touch. That's just how God made you. And it's that same gift that they couldn't take that puts you before Pharaoh. And you got enough sense, even though you try to get out early, you got enough sense to shave because your beard scared him. So you ain't trying, you looking for a miracle. Look, there's some human things you got to do. Oh, it don't matter now. I'm going just as I am. No, uh-uh. Man, if all I got to do is shade to get up out of here, where are the clippers? Oh, he got a runaway baby here. All right. Oh, he found somebody. Huh? So I'm going to get myself together. Oh, we got a baby. <laughs> he wanted for a blessing. <laughs> Mama ain't heard the word, but I'm coming down to the altar. He turns around, he becomes second in command. If he don't go to the pit, he ain't second in command. 
He gets silver, gold, new whip, raiment, and a fine wife. Right. All in one day. Can I mess with y'all before I go to breakfast? Please. You know what today is? The day you're going to get blessed. It's the same day. It's all the same day. It's the same day. The day you went to Jamaica was the day you was in my office crying. It was all the same day. The day you was there walking around the beach was the same day you ran out because of that little car accident. It's the same day. Huh? The same day you was there, it was the, it's the same day. Somebody thank God for being faithful in your affliction. Ever head bowed? That's enough. Run your tape back. That's enough for you kids.